I'm over here at our flagship plot and I wanted to show you guys three things that I'm doing today and there's some lessons and some new stuff in it. So first thing, I'm coming over here to harvest, actually I came here to harvest arugula, which I'm going to show you in a minute, but I also came over with the intention that I might have to harvest these radishes here and I don't need radishes right now, but they are, they have to come out. They're, these are French breakfast radishes and they're already this big and uh, I'm not going to need these for another three days, but I'm better off harvesting them now, keeping them in the cooler and sitting on, on, on them, than having a few more hot days where these get too big that they're no longer marketable. So I'm going to come and harvest those simply because they're, it's the best time to harvest them. Now, this is why part, or this is part of the reason why having a walk-in cooler is so important. If I didn't have a walk-in cooler, I couldn't do that. And this is a challenge that a lot of farmers have who don't have a walk-in cooler, is that they have to leave that crop in the ground until it needs to be harvested. Well, the problem in the summer is that if you leave that crop in the ground too long, it's going to spoil. It's going to get too big, and then it's no longer marketable. So. I'm going to crop that bed out now and it's going to sit in the cooler for a couple days or a few days and then it'll be sold after then. Uh, and that's totally fine. It can sit there, it can stay cool, the product will maintain its shelf life and its quality. So it's better to do that than to not sell it at all because if I sit on it then I might not be able to sell it at all. Next thing I want to show you is something new that we're doing. It's a new use for landscape fabric and it's a way of temporarily tarping beds. So. I harvested this bed of radish yesterday, but I don't need to turn this bed over until next week and I don't, I don't have time to plant it and, and turn it over today. I'd rather come back and have a, a number of beds to turn over than come and just turn one over. So I'm going to roll out a landscape fabric on this and weigh it down and it'll basically just sit there for a few days and it'll start the decomposition. It'll at least start, it'll keep the weeds from growing, it'll keep new weed seeds from blowing in, and it'll keep the soil nice and soft for me instead of the hard sun pounding down on it and drying it out on the surface. So it'll kind of maintain this bed and keep it in a stasis for me so that I can turn it over quicker and I'm already started the process now to preparing that bed. So the primary thing I came here to this plot to do was harvest this bed of arugula, which we need for today. And arugula is more or less a one-cut wonder. That's what I call it this time of year when we're 30 to 40 degrees Celsius. It's really hot. You know, it's, it's hard to grow arugula at this time of year. You need, to, in my opinion, you, you need to do it with overhead irrigation. You get better germination that way and watering at the high point of the day, at the hottest point of the day, also helps as well. I'm going to cut this and I'll leave it until Monday. If, I, if it looks like I might get another cut, then I'll let it grow a bit further into the week. So basically what I'm going to be looking for there is if I see any flowers. So these flowers that I see in the bed are actually from the previous crop, the previous tatsoi crop. So I don't see any flowers from the arugula. So I'm going to harvest it now and on Monday when I come back, if I see some flowers starting, then if I just see a little bit, I'll, I'll let it get a second cut and then I'll cut that and then we'll turn it over maybe the next week. But um, I'll try to get a second cut and uh, that's basically what I'm doing with it with, at this time of year. I, I'm assuming that I'm really only going to get one good cut, but that's okay. This is, this is really a 21 day crop from seed to harvest this time of year. So if it's only one cut, it's not so bad. In my video where I talk about heavy yields, click up here to check that one out, I show what I can yield off a bed like this and it's usually about 40 pounds in 21 days from a 50 foot bed. That's a pretty good yield even if you're only getting one cut. So I sell arugula around $10 a pound or eight to $10 a pound depending on where it's sold. And that's still a profitable crop. If it's just one cr cut in 21 days, we're still making good money on that. In this space, it's quick in and out. There'll be another crop in that follows it right away. So what I'm looking at for succession on this plot right now is kind of thinking ahead to next week and where I'm going to plant stuff. So I've got a bed of, of radishes that are going to be out. I'm going to cover that with a landscape fabric. I've got this one that's ready to go. And then on the next week, early next week, we'll come and harvest these two beds of Salanova. And so that'll be their second cut and then they're done. 
So we'll harvest those and then we'll immediately pull the chains out with the paper pot. So we can actually just take the paper and pull it out. And that's what we're gonna do. We pull, we'll pull that stuff out, we don't leave it in the soil. And then those beds will be easy to prep because there won't be any crop residue left over in it. So just put a bit of turkey manure in there, run the tilter, and then we'll be able to replant. So I've got those two and these two, so I'll have four beds that I can replant next week. And so that's something that I'm always doing on the farm is thinking ahead as to, okay, what crops are gonna be ready? I'm always thinking three weeks ahead to what crops are gonna be ready when, but then also what beds are gonna be ready when certain crops come out. So that's my vlog for the day, guys. Hope you found that helpful. We'll talk to you later.